this was one of the goals that you set last year and have addressed. <coughs> the reason that it is coming back is there have been some cases um, recently that <coughs> have, we would like to ask legal counsel to go back in and make sure that and they have recommended that they be allowed to do this to make sure that we are covered completely from a liability standpoint based on those recent uh, court cases to make sure that we do not have any more exposure than uh, necessary. What were the exposure? What was the recent court cases? It's related to dangerous dogs and dog bites. So we've had some recent activity. Well, just throughout the state. Yeah, and we have some a local increase in um, dog bites. I, I think it's one of those issues that again that you have an ordinance that you have in place if. Um, legal action has has shown that maybe you need to make a little adjustment in that ordinance to be more in line with where the legal community is. I think that's justification to go in there and take a look at it. So I would recommend that we do turn this over to the attorney, the, the uh, animal welfare ordinance, and have them look at those to make sure that we are more in line with where the court systems, uh, what they expect it to be and how they'd like it to be. So, <laughs> the next item is land bank and the significance of this is to point out the number of parcels that uh, the land bank currently has and this question came up through some of our discussions with the city, Mr. Evans is on that Land Bank Board, and we have increased the appointment to that. They have five parcels. With what? Or five. I don't think it really matters. Yeah. Part. They're, only, they're only managing five parcels. Yeah, five parcels. <laughs> uh, it's, very, it, it's in the it's listed there. Oh, well, this is already me. And is it worth, I mean, is that what we're getting to? Is it worth having an authority? Well, there was a question about the fact that the county has not funded that um, through some of our discussions, and um, we have never received a budget request. So these properties are being written? No, 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 no. Those properties is up for, you know, it's just like the habitat for the purchase. Most of them is not large enough to do anything they want to go to the property. The parcel was purchased with the money they So it's really a matter of information. It's not asking you to do anything, but to make you aware of the magnitude of their responsibility. And also, it's in the SDS also. Yeah, it, it, it came up in SDS, and that's one of the reasons why we need to take a look at it. Uh, my, I mean, my concern with it is, as much as anything, when I, when I found this information out, I would have thought that there had been a lot more pieces of property that the land bank authority was managing. My number would have been somewhere between 35 and 50 pieces of property that they were managing. When I found out there was just five, then I questioned the legitimacy of a true land bank and the funding mechanism and a full authority to manage five parcels. Now, if that's five parcels that's constantly turning over, maybe we need to find out that. That's was in one part of it. Uh, but reality is, is that if, if we're going to have a true land bank authority, which I do honestly believe that there is a place for that, <coughs> they need to be maybe more proactive and then we as local governments, both city and county, need to look at ways that maybe can streamline the processes for them to be able to get properties into the land bank, make it easier for a citizen to donate property, 
to give property, make it easier, possibly more streamlined from a if it's, uh, property that's that's from a tax sale or those sort of things. Then there needs to be a process in place to identify those and for them to get more properties, which would then be able to help our community both in the in the incorporated areas and in the unincorporated areas to do a a more efficient job of improving some of our blighted areas. That in my opinion is a big part of what the land bank does. Uh, they go into these the blighted community, the, the, the parcel is either run down or half burnt out or something, and the owner can't justify his investment to go back in there and rebuild that because the market again is just not going to allow him to do that. So he would claim to, to the land bank. Exactly. That's what he does. So the key is, is that we need to we need to have discussions with the land bank. We need to have discussions with between ourselves and other local governments about are there things that we can do that can help the land bank be more successful with these properties? Or certainly they play a role. You can Land banks will sell a lot, for example, to habitat humanity, uh, and then they're able to get a little revenue off of it, and then there's you can you can basically do I'm gonna say whatever if you got if you got a uh, substandard lot, you can have some things in place in ordinances and in your uh, zoning requirements that might allow someone such as habitat to go and build a home on a substandard law and what today's standards are. And so it's, it's a way to do that in field. It's a way to help some of the blighted areas. But we may need to just look at what that process is. But I really would have thought that there been a lot more parcels that was under the authority of the land bank than just five, five parcels. Mm -hmm. I really was surprised at that. It really So certainly that 
that is that is a positive thing, but now they're just low on the inventory and now they need to build their inventory back and up. And I definitely don't want to build back up until we can get more
lot of things like that. But so again, we'll come back over here to this water sewer. This water sewer. I think that once you do that and then make some decisions on water and sewer, it could impact how you want to adjust that urban service area. The um, issue of broadband, we yes. touched on yesterday. Have maps over here that I referenced, and they're in your packet as well. Um, 